Everybody, standing ovation here again with another card break. I got some more hockey packs. Actually, this is part three in a series. You got to go check out my other part one and part two, and then be stay, stay tuned for part four because there's going to be one more part in this where I'm ripping packs. Uh, loose packs. I guess these were boxes that I had open on the go, and I needed to make some videos for content for a holiday that I'm taking right now, summer holiday. Hope you're all having a good summer holiday out there. If you're not on holiday, you're about to have a holiday, or you're just enjoying the summer wherever you are. Um, yeah, so I got some packs here. This is, again, part three. Um, cleaning up around the house. I had a bunch of open boxes. I couldn't just let them sit there. And I couldn't just make one video where I opened them all because that would take forever the way I go. So I thought I'd make this little series to fill in the week that I'm on holidays. Yeah, I think I just repeated myself. Okay, well, I'm just playing with my packs. And again, what I have here is hobby packs. I got a trilogy. I got two SPA. I got two ice. And I got three UD2 from last year, or this year, technically last year now, Series 1 of 13, 14 isn't going to be out for a few months. But, and I got the year before, 21, 22, Series 1 Hobby, and most recent Upper Deck, I got six packs of Extended Hobby. Okay, well, let's start this off with Series 1 from 21, 22, or shall I say, let's continue, because I've opened up. I'm halfway through this little mix of boxes, packs that I had. Uh, is it still? It's kind of crooked there. All crooked up. Nah, it's kind of like my background is. There. It's got to look right. My, my, my OCDCACDC. Oh, it drive me nuts. And now even that is still wrong. Right, there we go. Oh, I got to remember to look in that frame more often than bad for like breaking cards up here or breaking down here or breaking them over there. Look for, for Caulfield. Sounds like a good way to start this. 21-22 hobby. Let's get a hobby hit even. But uh, Young Guns, Cole Caulfield's the big one out of this 21-22. And okay, here we go. Backstrom, Krug, Bergeron, Hundo P, Pavelski. Why? It's a Hundo P. Because the kids, they, they say Hundo. It's a Hundo. You feeling 100%? Uh, Hundo P, buddy. Okay. That's just, like I said before, that is the dumbest name of all pitter patter better get adder is kind of one of the dumb ones too but hundo p like yeah check your marketing groups upper deck i don't think there's a lot of kids collecting these this is it my stats say it's all 38 to 44 year olds that are collecting now or that's all who's watching so hey all you uh generation wise i don't know what it is i technically fall into the baby boomer category myself so Panic, oh, panic, panic. I'm panicking with Zach Brees, and I got a Young Guns, Jeremy Davies. Cool. Jeremy Davies, number 237. He's a Quebec fella. I don't know if I, that might be one of the ones I need for building a set by ripping packs. I guess you could go online and finish a set in three seconds by click, click, click. But I've been putting this set together just by ripping packs over the past couple of years. I've had three Caulfields, sold them all, so i got to keep the next one I get. Hopefully that happens very shortly. To brink it, I got this. Every one of these breaks so far, I've hit a superstar on a roll. I think you get three or four in a box. Again, let's change my angle here in a sec. Mitch Marner. And Burz Lickens. Kuznetsov, Pierre-Luc Dubois, and I skipped somebody. Edmondson. Okay, let's get a lower look. There, there. Oh, yeah, that's going to be just fine, Jim Dandy. Yeah. Okay, last pack, 21-22. We got Philip Forsberg, Keith Yandel, Thomas Hurdle. We got a Blue Dazzlers, Rasmus Dahlin. Cool. DZ7. Make, maker, Kay Kaylee Maker. Kale McCarr, White Jack Vanacek, Adam Henrique, and Troy Terry. I wonder what the Dazzlers will look like next year. They tweak them a little every year. They keep making them look better and better. Eventually, they're going to come with, like, lights beaming out of them, and you're going to be so dazzled you won't know what to do. Okay, well, let's move the trilogy down there. Let's just open the trilogy. All right, why not? I touched it. Let's open it. It's the only one I got. One per break. I've got four trilogy packs in this series. She only had a six-pack box in Trilogy, so here it is. We're going to get out of this pack. 
We got Kyle Connor. We got a present. It this present is a generations trilogy generations present, as in now, as in not. I just got a present because that's kind of a crappy present. I actually have the jersey version of that already too. Aren't I amazing? I mean, I don't know. It's just some random stuff you don't need to know, I guess. Tries idle, tries idle, and a blue. Jack Quinn, numbered 352 or 399, rookie renditions. Jack Quinn. RR35. Right up. Well, and I got a nice little tray decoy card to put him on. There we go. Let's carry this on with 2223. And I grab the ice. Those will be the last ones. These are the most exciting ones to me right now. A little extended, you never know. You could hit a clear-cut Young Guns and that would really knock my socks off. And I'm not even wearing socks. Adam Larson. It's summer, so I got the sandals on. It's uh, it's a fact. Larson, Norris, Hampus Lindholm, Pierre Engvall, World Class, World Junior Grads, Mira Hiskanen. I'm going to say World Class. It's World Junior Grads. That's like the 0405. I think they made an insert like that back then. Dreisaitl, Richie and Marcheseau. A little pink going on there. Marcheseau, Stanley Cup winning fella. All around fine person. Looks like they're having a lot of fun in Vegas. I mean, if you're going to win a cup, what a town to do it in. It's like fun is right there at your front door. Zach Hyman, Jesperi Kotkaniemi, Dougie Hamilton, TJ Brody, Canvas Card, Matthew Barzal. He's chucking a puck up there to this little person going to get it. Hopefully they did. And we got Eberle, Schmidt, and O'Reilly. I wonder who the player is that has the like modern era player that has the most upper deck cards. I'm thinking Ryan O'Reilly has got to be up there. That guy's been traded a lot. I mean, 09, 010 Young Guns was when he first came out. And he was a teenager, so he's still got years left. God, that guy's got tons of different cards. There's Riley Smith, Stanley Cup wing, Riley Smith, the misfit himself. Stamkos, also a Stanley Cup winner. Konechny has not won anything ever in his life. No, I'm sure he's won something. Well, look at this one, L.A. It's like a postcard. In fact, there's an upside down. It's like, it's a postcard, but it's so small. I don't know. You know, that was a good idea, kind of, but they should have got, like, that might be L.A., actually. But a lot of these cards, they just took some random picture and put the same picture on all the cards. Bunting. He's knee-bunting you, and Hornquist with Kuzi and Shabbat. Okay, that's all the Series 2. I'm going right to the Extended. Let's keep it green. And we'll go green to green, because in ice, everything's green. You get green cards... You get a green card. You get a green card. You get a... Everybody gets green cards. Wouldn't that be funny if that happened? Oh, no. That Americans, they wouldn't like that at all. Sam Steele, Logan O'Connor, Jeff Petrie, Jordan Covered All-Star. Got a dazzling card. This time it's Samuel Poulin. Sammy Poulin. Will he ever be back? I think he got injured. He was playing okay for a while there, I think. Jack Campbell, the all-star with Maple Leafs mask. It says Maple Leafs, but he's an oiler. Luke Shen, who is a Maple Leaf. Andre Kemp. Is it Kempe or Kemp? i got to watch more Kings games to actually get that down pat. Or buy some older MVP box. Because remember on MVP hockey cards, they used to tell you how to pronounce the cards on the box. They should do that again. They should. Andrej Blatt. Chris Kreider. Troy Stetcher. Hublot, in a Calgary Calgary uniform. That's that's where he is. T12. It's so hard, uh, you know, all the older products that you've ripped over the years, or older, but I mean, late late products, to actually see guys in their uniform, it's like, is he really there right now, still? Sprong. Stall. I had to think for a sec. Now, is Huberto going to stay as a Calgary Flames player? I think so. He's got a lot to prove there. He really, you know, I don't know. Or was he just a, a wingman to bark off? I mean, that's all he really ever, ever really was, or is, or ever shall be. Gunin. 
Mikey Anderson, Luke Gundening. I got the retro. Who's that, Pinto or Docker? Sanderson, neither, because neither one was a rookie in 22-23, but Jake Sanderson is. Right on. It's a good defenseman, a little white chipping on the top. That's actually typical of that year as well in 07 08. I'm going to check Kensel Brown and Gustafson. Gustafson. Philip Gustafson, who used to be a senator. Okay. I collect hockey cards, so I know that. That's like, and some of the times I, stuff that pops into my head, it's like, thanks, Captain Obvious. Omiyoshi. Okay, there's Jack Quinn. That's a nice one. So it'll match the other last pack I did. Uh, last video I did, I hit similar, very similar card, which was quite nice, but better. Morgan Geeky, Nazem Kadri, and Ilya Labushkin. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this extended. I don't know, maybe it rubbed me the wrong way when it first came out. I still, I'm not big on having this price point come in at the same as all the other hobby boxes up or deck does. And yet, you don't get the same quantity. You get kind of like rookie debuts, or if you want to call them that, or, you know, second rookie cards, because Jack Quinn's Young Guns is already out there. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I Maybe it'll grow on me yet. Because every box they've opened, I must say, has produced a lot. It seems like there's less of it made, because the UD exclusives seem to fall out of them a lot more frequently. And there's an acetate card. What is this? The Clear Cut dominance of Sveshnikov. Again, these are typically super rare hits out of the hobby products, but every hobby box I've opened has had a lot. Like this hobby box, because these packs all came from the same box, has had two exclusives and a clear-cut uh, and I guess, unless that's a new insert and they're not as rare as I think it is. Clear dominance. Yeah, maybe it's not as rare of an insert. Could be like that smooth grooves one. Betrano. Stone, Darlene, and Johansson. I guess that's my lack of education. or I'm very ignorant still on Extended because this is only the third hobby box I've ripped into or had open. Um, and so I really haven't... And I didn't watch a lot of it breaking, I must say, either. So there may be some more Extended coming up on my channel. We'll see. I know the retail's out there, too. I haven't got any of that happening yet. Burkowski Hall or Hole. Gibson, Saros. Young Guns, you sold Parsonin. Young Guns, Parsonin from the Preds. All right, that's uh, Young Guns. You always like hitting them. Uh, let's finish it off with Everly, Maroon, and Matthews. Austin Matthews, All-Star. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. Well, let's just add them up into the hits pile. There's... Ice and SP. Let's see. Each one has its own little treats, perhaps. No guarantee auto and ice, but a lot of boxes have one. I've even had boxes with two autos. There is guaranteed auto and SPA, and in fact, there's two guaranteed. Not guaranteed, but you're def definitely... every Almost every box I've seen has had at least two. These packaging... The packaging on these ice pack cards was not done as well as other products, because I've had a few really bizarre packs. Or uh, cards were sealed inside the pack. Other things like that. Pavelski, Bailey, McKinnon with a Pinto, green, and a die cut, Crystals, Drysdale, SP. Crystals is Clayton Keller. All right. Yeah, this box of ice, there's a thick one. Could be a decoy. Could be an exquisite. Could be a... Uh, Jersey card could be a frozen in time rip open card. Let's see. Let's see what this one. What is this? Is this is is Atkinson Saros Chikrin with a green schmaltz. Every pack you get a green card. Neighbors, and it's just a decoy, a random decoy with a nice premieres. Morgan Barron, nine ninety nine rookie. Uh, that's a nice Rangers card. Morgan Barron, Barron. Uh, six foot four. He's an East Coaster. We'll see how long his career lasts. I think he's still got some game. Again, I don't know how many of these guys are still with their current pick. You know, is he still with the Rangers? If, if I followed the sport a little bit more religiously, I would know that. But 
I'm not a Bible of information. I'm just a babble of information. Last two packs. Thanks for watching, folks. If you haven't, please tap the like button. Really help me grow this channel. Subscribe. Get me to the 1,000 or keep me at that 1,000. I'm very close to it as I speak. Sit here right now. And I'm looking forward to the day that I can say, I did it. But I'm not there yet. So jump aboard if you haven't already. And I notice, I look at the stats. A lot of people who watch don't subscribe. And I got to think myself, I'm bad for it too. I'll watch somebody and I won't subscribe. I don't know why. But then I do eventually. Okay, we got a die cut on the back of Aho. Got Marcia So. Again, the base I've seen so much. I really don't care about the SBA base now. It's all about that card behind this one. And there's the pageantry, Sam Reinhardt. What is it? UD Authentics. It's autograph. It's a hard time card. It is. What is it? It's who is it? Bernie Nichols. Hey, Hall of Famer. Is Bernie in the Hall? I, you know what? I just said that like he is. I think he's in the Hall of Fame, but I really don't know. Maybe he's not. I don't see a lot of Bernie Nichols autograph stuff out there. Again, there's a cool card. I have to check the odds of hitting a Bernie Nichols. No numbering on it, but that's a cool one for the Kings collectors and for myself. I must say I think of him as a longtime LA King in the purple uniforms. Right on. Bernie Nichols. Well, oh wait, hey, I'm not done. I just hit an auto. I'm like, okay, that's it. Clean up. Everybody go home. Nothing to see now. But perhaps that's the truth. As how many packs, how many autos in a box? Let's say maybe it's a three auto box. Because I think I've already hit one. Who knows? Who knows? Alright. Come on. Let's get her done. Grubauer. Fertile. Mers like blah blah blah. blah. Base, base, base. And we got SP Top Rookies Gruel. That's a blue. And that, that really matters, but it's blue. Wyatt Kalniuk pageantry. And I got a red. Schwint. Cole Schwint, future watch, limited red. The Panthers, Cole Schwint. And I haven't even heard of the guy. So, so yeah. But I got a Bernie Nichols auto, and that's pretty cool. So far, as part three of this four-part series, it's, it's like, it's pretty good. I got to say, these, bo these boxes had a lot left in them. And they were fairly full boxes, so that's not terribly surprising. But... Stay tuned for, for break number four, or uh, part number four. Hope you're all there for that one. And I hope you're all having a good summer out there. Enjoy your breaking. Hope you got a lot of luck in your fingers. Take it easy, folks. Anyways, you know.